Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Fleet, reporting live from the annual meeting of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in Washington, D.C. Dr. Brian Schroer of the Cleveland Clinic and colleagues found that exhaled nitric oxide levels did not correlate with asthma control test scores or spirometry in asthmatic patients. Were you surprised by your findings? As a first year allergy fellow, uh, knowing that the exhaled nitric oxide is a generally accepted non-invasive marker of airway inflammation, I really was surprised that evidence of inflammation was not increased in patients whose ACT scores were either decreased or normal, uh, and it didn't correlate with spirometry as well. So actually, I was very surprised initially. But when you really think about it, uh, the ACT questions don't take into account any questions about airway inflammation, and spirometry is measuring just airway hyperresponsiveness. So actually, it doesn't really surprise me in the long run that the airway inflammation is not correlated with these two measurements of airway asthma control. And what are the clinical implications of your study? I think at the moment, the ENO can be used as a surrogate marker for airway inflammation and used in conjunction with the spirometry and the patient uh, scored ACT test to monitor for asthma control. And it may, although this study doesn't look at it specifically, be helpful in diagnosis of asthma as well. From the Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.